What's up guys, Zach aka Epilepsy here, bringing you another deck tech. Now, if you guys have not seen the video, go watch it. It is Alolan Ninetales versus Lycanroc. It is amazing. We have the fox versus the wolf. You guys watched the first Battle Factory. It is the wolf versus the fox. We swapped decks, me and EXP awesome. Haven't checked them out. Scroll down below, hit his link, give that guy a sub, and like his videos. He is an awesome PokeTuber, but he I got him in the TCG. He wanted to know what deck to make. I told him Alolan Ninetales because, one, I wanted to see how it worked and so I could learn about it, so I can potentially play it physically later on. But, uh, our Battle Factory, I recorded um, Thursday, got my but hand it to me. And that was not fun. Not fun at all. Because I don't know anything about Alolan Ninetales. And he knew how to play Lycanroc already. So I was at a disadvantage. But Alolan Ninetales is such an amazing card. After learning how to play this Pokemon card. I love it. So Alolan Ninetales. It's stage 1. Water Pokemon with 210 HP. Which is a very awkward number. Um, 210. <coughs> Things need to get like Kakui. Choice Band, and that's pretty much it. A lot of Kakui Choice Band combinations. It's just so awkward. Not at that point where 200, yes, you can get something knocked out of 200, or like 180. Anything that's like an odd number, I feel, is like really, 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 really weird to hit. Because I guess, you know, you can't get two numbers to really add up to an odd, like with weakness or something. But, <laughs> okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop. Like, two shots, it's it's almost always gonna get two shot. I mean, there are very rare times that you can actually one-shot this. Um, like, Iraq can one-shot this if you have four Pokemon on your bench. So be very careful with that. Um, but if you guys haven't seen the, the Battle Factory, go go check that out, and then you guys can come back, or or check this out, and then go go watch the Battle Factory where I use this deck. Um but a level of nine tails, 210 HP. It is an odd number, but it's survivability number. And I am a huge fan. And when we get dumbbells, oh my gosh, can you guys even imagine who needs to do more damage with Choice Band when you can get more HP on a Lola nine tails? That just makes this card even better. So Rising Guardians needs, or, or Rising Guardians, Guardian Rise. I, I don't even know. I don't even know how to say that set. It's gonna be Burning Shadows, guys. When Burning Shadows comes out, that card is going to go right into a Lola Nine Tails deck. It's going to be phenomenal. But for the first attack, double colorless energy. It is Ice Blade, and this attack does 50 damage to one of your opponent's Pokemon. And you do not apply weakness or resistance to your opponent's bench. Really awesome. You can do so much damage over time if you're lucky that that's that's the thing there are certain cards in the in the meta right now that people are teching in uh me being one of them i teched in a uh, a certain card that stops me from spreading damage to my opponent's bench pokemon but that's okay that's okay when i see that pokemon i do kind of get upset because you can't do the damage spread and it does slow down a little in nine tails because ice blade is meant to start poking your opponent's Pokemon on the bench, pull up something heavy, get rid of the float stone. If they have one, let them sit there for a while and you just start damaging things in the bench, poking, you got, you can get some sneaky knockouts this way as well, but I don't think I've ever gotten a knockout. I think all I've ever gotten was just poke damage and then get a knockout through um, other means such as the second attack for Two water and one colorless, which is a very awkward um, energy thing. We need more just single type of energy and a double colorless. Um, Blizzard Edge. It does 160 damage. It With a choice band, you are just missing a knockout on Lycanroc. And those are very important numbers, people. Because you're not just missing it on Lycanroc. You're missing out on the evolutions as well. But, I mean, you, you'll, you'll get the... The Lapras and Tauros, I guess. So, that's that's something. <laughs> uh, who cares about Lapras and Tauros when you when you have a Lola Nine Tails, right? And yeah, yeah. <laughs> but <coughs> excuse me, Blizzard Edge. 
It does 160, but you have to discard two energy from this Pokemon, which still makes it awkward. You got two water and a colorless. That You could have three waters and you won't be able to attack. That's why a lot of people are here that are using this card are running the double colorless energy. Instead of using um, two water or three water energies, you just throw on two water, slap on a DCE, and then you just discard the DCE instead of the water. If you need to, you can just get the DC, uh, another water and just do another 160 the very next turn. So you're able to get two shots, and it's pretty awesome. We do have a one retreat cost too, so that's also very important. You can discard all your energies if you need to with the retreat and the uh, the the attack. But you'll have to do that next turn. And if you have three Aqua Patches in your hand, you can get all those water energies back if you need to. That is something important. But Ice Path GX is our last attack. It is our GX attack. <coughs> For DCE, two colorless energies. You move all damage counters from this Pokemon to one of your opponent's active Pokemon. If you guys have not seen that Battle Factory where I'm using this deck going against EXP Awesome using my Lycanroc deck, go watch it right now. Ice Path GX is game changing. Love this attack. It's very uh it's very weird because not a lot of people are playing it <coughs> excuse me. <laughs> playing it just as the attacker. I use it more as an intimidate factor. It's very good because your opponents do not want to touch a little bit nine tails. If they can't get the one shot. You just Ice Path, you're going to put all that damage onto them. You are going to see where that makes or breaks a game in my Battle Factory. So, yeah, it was it was, it was was pretty, pretty interesting. I usually always use Ice Path a little bit too early, um, mainly because I'm terrible at math sometimes. Uh, especially when strong energies and choice bands and... Kukui's are in play. It's just too much information. <laughs> and when I already have 50 damage on my nine tails and uh, so much math. But guys, just go go check out the Battle Factory. Yeah, I'll I'll wait here. I'll wait here. You get, just just pause this video. Open up a new tab. Go down to the Battle Factory um, episode where I'm using a lol and nine tails and yeah, go go check it out. You guys are going to love it. I promise. Except for, like, I was, like, dying. I, I, I'm still sick, guys. It's, it's okay. But it's the wolf versus the fox. Amazing. I don't know what deck is better. I'm not sure if it's Lycanroc. And I'm not sure if it's Alola Ninetales. I am more leaning on the Lycanroc side, but that's because I am more, you know... I don't know. I, I, I'm very biased. I, I like Lycanroc in general. But that's it with the Alola Ninetales. We run three of those. We run four of the Lolan Vulpix. And we are mainly only using this because of the beacon attack for z <laughs> no energy. You get to search your deck for two Pokemon to reveal them. Put them into your hand. So you can search anything. You can search for a Lolan Ninetales. You can search for a Lele. You can search for an Octillery, Remoraid. And you can search for the next greatest thing ever. The Pseudo Wudo. This card literally can make or break matches as well. You're not using it for its attack. You're not using it for its awesome bulk with 100 HP. You're using it for its awesome ability. Roadblock. Your opponent cannot play or cannot have more than four bench Pokemon. If they have five or more bench Pokemon, they discard a bench until they have four. Also, if more than one effect that changes the number of bench Pokemon, this you have to go with a smaller number. They play Skyfield. You play this. Instead of eight, they have to use Forest Tail. Really good against Raichu, guys. Really good against Raichu. Just want to say that. Oh, also, they they want to start playing all their, like, regular Pokemon, or they're playing, like, a bunch of Shamans, and they have, like, three Shamans on their bench, and, like, a Lele, and they have, like, a something else up front. You go for Roadblock, they can't play anything else. Then you can just kind of just snipe off. <coughs> snipe off Shamans and Leles. Oh, my gosh, I'm so sick. So sorry, guys. But it's just a great way. It, it does slow down things. We are running a 2-2 Remoraid and Octillery. Abysmal Hand is a great way to get 
um, cards after we get a terrible delinquent and or an end that makes us so we have one or two cards in our hand. Just draw until you have five cards. We do not use the attack at all. I don't think anyone will ever attack with Octillery. I mean, that'd be pretty awesome. Trap them with Hug. That will be fun. Let's do that. No, I'm not going to make a deck out of that. We finally end this with two Tapu Lele GX. Oh, God. We're just going to look at the, the pretty one. Two Tapu Lele GX. I did actually just pull a physical Tapu Lele full art last night, too. It was awesome. Just bought a bunch of packs and uh, pulled physical Tapu Lele. Uh, full art Tapu Lele. So now I have four Tapu Leles physically and one some full art. So Tapu Lele... Wonder Tag ability, you get to, when you play this Pokemon from your hand onto your bench, you, you get to search for a supporter card, you can search for N, Kakui, Lysander, uh, I don't know, Sycamore, any card you need, teammates, uh, Bridget, the other ones, yeah, all those, <laughs> so, you get to search for any supporter card, it's an amazing ability, insanely broken at times. And me thinking that I can use Lysander and Kakui kind of screws me up sometimes. I'm like, oh, wait, I need a Kakui, and I need that Pokemon up, and I'd be like, oh, wait, I can't. So I just kind of hold Lele in my hand until they pull up their Pokemon, and I can just pull up the Kakui and get the knockout, or eh, if you ever need a Lysander. Since I'm not running Lycanroc, I can't just have Lysanders just whenever I need. I have to actually physically go and start doing Lysander. But... Okay, so that's it for the Pokemon. Let's get into the items. We are running the four Aqua Patch. You attach a water energy from your discard pile to one of your water Pokemon. Very good for Lola Ninetales and Momentum. We run two Dive Ball because you can search for any Pokemon um, that is water. We are usually searching for Ninetales, uh, Vulpix if you need it, and the Octillery line. I mean, those are the only Pokemon we can search for. One Field Blow. Oh no, I don't want to put that in my deck. Ah. Uh, one field blower, discard up to two cards, uh, tool, tool cards, or a stadium and a tool card. Very awesome. You can trap Pokemon in that have float stones or get rid of pesky choice bands. For me, I am running one max potion. Yes, I do have the the, the awesome uh, secret rare max potion. I love this. I'm only running it because a little nine tails can um, do without. <coughs> <laughs> with do with energy loss you lose all your energies and you have a dce you can still continue to get the attacks on if you have a dce in your hand after your max potion um and you get to fully heal yourself so it's pretty much a nice path except you don't do the damage we do run one rescue stretcher you need to be able to get your pokemon back and i feel rescue stretcher is really fun like me rescue stretchering a pseudo after they ko a pseudo so and then they have to lower their bench again really awesome we run the four Ultra Ball. That's a staple in every deck. We also run three Verse Seekers. A lot of people are running less Verse Seekers. Um, I'm not sure if it's just to counter Garb or what, but I'm not entirely sure. We run Run Brook Brooklet Hill. It allows you not just to search out Alolan Vulpix and Remoraid, but it allows you to search out Sudowoodo, which can get you a first turn Sudowoodo if you need it. Then we also run two Rough Seas. I believe that the original one was three rough seas, but I don't have it, so I did put the max potion into it instead of uh, a third rough seas because I only have two. You get to heal 30 damage from your water Pokemon and electric Pokemon, which is very awesome. It adds up over time. We do play a Bridget where you search, <coughs> excuse me, search deck for one basic Pokemon EX or three basic Pokemon, except for Pokemon EX, and put them onto your bench. Really awesome. Do not use this to get Lele, guys. It will not activate the ability. So, yeah. You'd be searching for Remoraids, Alolan Vulpix, and Sudowoodo almost every single time. Hex Maniac. Until the end of your opponent's next turn, <coughs> each Pokemon to play it and the hand and discard pile has no abilities. Really awesome. But be very wary, guys. Do not use this if your Lele uh, is in your hand and you want to play your Lele. Or if you don't have a hand already and you need a hand with Octillery. You want to use your abilities first, and also remember, Roadblock will also go down. So if they really want to, they can start putting Shamans uh, and stuff, power up their bench. I mean, not Shamans. They won't get a they yeah, they won't get the Shaman ability. What would it be? They can start powering up their bench again and knock out. I guess with uh, with Raichu, I guess, or something. Or they need to get something onto their bench, and they can get something off their bench. 
say like they have um a Pokemon like a Shaman on the bench with like ten HP left, they can just uh, hex you, place another Pokemon. They're forced to get rid of a Pokemon. They just get rid of their Shaman, and then you just miss out on Shaman KO. But I mean that's never gonna happen. You do run two Lysander. That's another staple. You get to choose when your opponent's bench Pokemon switch it with their active. We run three N. Another staple. Gosh, we are just to the staples right now. Each player shuffles their hand into the deck. Draw a, uh, for the number of prize cards each of you, like one you have left. Uh, Professor Kukui, draw two cards, do 20 more damage. Amazing. Helps you hit those things. Sycamore, we do run three Sycamores. Um, I am running less and less Sycamores. I am thinking about running Hala, but I don't feel this deck really is based around a Hala. Um, we aren't doing GX attacks quite uh, fast enough. I do run the two Choice Bands. I was thinking about running three, <coughs> excuse me, three because I run three almost in every deck, but we also do run two float stones. Um, be very careful, guys, because um, field blower is very prominent and Garb is using them every day, so be very wary. Um, then we run four DCEs because you know those are the ones that we usually want to discard when we are using our was it Blizzard Edge, and we run eight water energies we want to be able to get our water energies up and if we need to we can discard them and then get them back with aqua patch but this is the deck tech guys hope you guys enjoyed give this thing a give this video a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already go check out exp awesome's channel His link should be in the video of battle factory it's in the description of battle factory which you guys should go check out me using alolan nine tails against that lichen rock I don't know which deck is better. If you guys want, comment down below and let me know what deck you think is better. Lycanroc versus Ninetales. Wolf versus Fox. Verlicify versus some Fox YouTuber. Yeah, I just said Verlicify in a TCG. Oh, gosh. Oh, what did I do? But anyway, guys, hope you guys enjoyed. Have an awesome day, guys, and later.